Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Kind of Sex here, and I'm here with my lovely girlfriend, Janessa. And yeah, we have been asked by a Ryan Healing Ryan. Center to do a restaurant review of all of their food. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of food here. And yeah, they have given us all this food free, but this is not a paid video at all. I am going to be honest with how good the food is or not, but yeah, I'm very, very hopeful that it is going to be good because I've eaten here before and I know the food is very, very high quality. And yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, what have you got? If you first want to tell them what you've got. This one right here? Yep. Um, I don't remember the name. Can you get that? The name of that yep. is somewhere okay. here. <laughs> uh, Buddha bowl. Yeah. And it's got, if you read it out to them here. It has buckwheat noodles, raw vegetables, tempeh, and mung beans. Sprouted mung beans. Yes, be sprouted specific. mung beans. And Asian dressing, which seems some sort of like sesame oil, soy sauce dressing. Yeah, nice. And yeah, what I say is, like, there may be some noise because we are inside. The re well, where you pay okay. for all of the food, yeah. where you don't normally go and eat, but it's been raining outside, so I have to make it. So, if there's any blending noises or noises that are background noises, we're sorry about that. We can't avoid that completely. We're doing the best that we can do. And what else did you get? Anything else? Or was it just that, that you ordered? That's the only thing. Yeah, I've yeah. I've ordered a lot of food. I actually, <laughs> one meal a day on a vegan plant-based diet. So, yeah, what someone normally eats in a day, I eat within one sitting. So that's why there's a lot here. Um, and yeah, I have this raw lasagna and they have made this specially for me to try. It's not on the menu as of yet, but yeah, it's a raw vegan one and it looks really, really tasty as well. I've tried many in the past, so it'd be interesting to see how this compares to other ones that I've had. We've also got some ice cream here, which is melting rapidly. <laughs> Coconut ice cream. And they've actually put some uh, almonds. Yes, yeah, some shredded almonds on there. And we've also got a side order of tempeh, which this tempeh is definitely not store bought. This is made themselves, and this is seasoned. really high quality seasoned tempeh. But it's actually got some other seeds in there, not just soy beans, from what I can see. We've also got these, which are quite new chocolate covered nettle dates. I haven't tried these before, but yeah, they should be pretty divine. Also got a King Carob shake here. And if you're wondering what that has got in it, it consists of bananas, date, raw carob powder, peanuts and almond milk. And I actually got them to add hemp protein to it and spirulina. Because yeah, I'm a calisthenics athlete and I need to be getting as much protein as I can possibly in my one meal a day to actually help me well. Give me the muscles that I want to be gains. developing, right. get those gains, so, <laughs> so, so to speak. Um, and yeah, I've been to so many restaurants in Thailand, I don't remember seeing any others that offer a, a vegan protein, like extra that you can add to it in spirulina. Spirulina is a very good quality protein source. It's also got a broad spectrum of nutrients in as well. Really, really alkalizing, really good for rebuilding the body, regenerating the body. And it's really good to see that they're using hemp protein powder because a lot yeah. of places would offer soy protein powder, soy protein isolate, which is not that good. Hemp protein totally is favorite. actually, yeah, and it's a complete amino acid protein source as well, which is really hard to find on a vegan diet. And then we've also got this wrap here. And the wrap is actually made from chickpea flour, so it's completely gluten free. And I will look to see what the name of this is. It's actually Cheesy Shrooms. That's and so good. you speak to pretty much anyone that's been here. This is one of the most highly recommended dishes that I've had before. And it consists of cashew cheese, spicy mushrooms, tomato, lettuce, sunflower spread, uh, sunflower sprout, sorry. And yeah. And cashew cheese. Yeah, and it's got some side salad to it as well. And we've also got this new thing protein cakes it's good to see another protein dish because i can't find a lot of high protein vegan dishes in places in thailand and then last but one? yeah we've already talked about that one. <laughs> one last but not least how do you pronounce this burger do you know the name 
you were meant to remember, so. Lacmacon? Uh, yeah, L A C H M A C U N. And it's completely gluten free. From what I remember, the bun is made from rice flour, and the burger's actually gluten free as well. Because nice. I remember going to Agama that's here, they do um, a vegan burger that you would think is gluten free because they, you can ask to pay extra for a gluten free bun, but the burger isn't actually gluten free, which is really, really strange. And yeah, it comes with some nice like dry sauce here, I'm not sure what it is, maybe like a spicy ketchup and fries, which are air fryer fries, so they're not really oily. Trying to find fries that are pretty much oil free is impossible, well at least from the places I've been in Thailand. Yeah. I've been at so many places in Thailand, I've been in Thailand for over three years, so yeah. So we're going to first start on the ice cream because it's melting, and we'll tell you how this is, and we our ice cream lovers. <laughs> We've had a lot of ice cream at a lot of amazing places. Mm. 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 What flavor is this one? Coconut. Just coconut? There's nothing. Yep. What's the red? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> There's little specks of like Red in it? I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, I've never seen it before. I've tried this recently. It's is super, super creamy, mm. super flavorful. It's got a really nice, strong coconut milk taste to it. And it's not too sweet. Like, I really don't like when ice cream is overly sweet. Yeah. Yeah, there's other people that sell ice cream alone, but a lot of them are definitely very, very sweet. Very, very sugar filled, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. Definitely tastes like one of the healthiest vegan ice creams that I've ever had. Yes. Mm. Oh my god, I was gonna do that. <laughs> I used to make these a lot, so I'm excited to oh, wow. see how it is. Wow, they've done something to the inside. Mm. I was like, I'm either chewing on a toothpick or a nut. Wow, they've actually stuffed it with some sort of nut. What is that? Almond. Mm. Wow, I've never had that happen with dates before. And yeah, they're definitely very high quality metal dates, which to find them in Thailand is very hard. If you do, they definitely cost quite a bit of money. And yeah, it's a brilliant addition adding that almond inside. Mm. It's a nice combination. What do you think of it? Um, I feel like the chocolate's a little bitter. Like it's like very, it's like probably not sweetened at all. No. I'm sure I would like a little bit more sweetened, but. Mm. Yes, it depends on your personal preference. If you like really strong cacao taste, yeah, then yeah. But for me, I'm not into chocolate stuff unless it's really sweet. But I actually like that. Mm. It's not too intense like some of the chocolate cakes I've had at places, which is complete overkill. Wow. Yeah, I say for me that the actual medial date sweetness actually balances out the strong chocolatey taste. Now I can taste it more like the date is coming in. Like at first I could just taste the cacao. Yeah. So. It helps balance it out, unlike a lot of the cakes I've eaten at other places that are just full on chocolate. Mm. With the ice cream? Mm. Well, it's definitely very good if we put some of these things down out of the way. Oh, definitely enjoyed that. Mm. Actually, I'm going to try they decorated it all pretty for us as well. I'm all about presentation. Uh, yeah, if it looks prettier, somehow it just tastes better. Yeah, it's sprinkled with almonds, it's quite a hard cake. creamy like base at the top and then it's got like this harder layer down at the bottom which is made up of I don't know what 
it looks like nuts, looks like nuts. a layer of the chocolate as well you want to try yeah i think it's really good it's sort of like the top is like ice cream almost because it's quite mm. like thick but iciness mm. to it it tastes like coffee really mm -hmm. i can't taste coffee it tastes like espresso it's really good well, I don't like coffee, but it doesn't look like anything exactly. to it. Exactly. It doesn't taste like it to me. Like? Mmm. Actually. How do you not taste that? I can taste it now. <laughs> it's very but subtle actually, though. It's a subtle coffee taste. Because it's not overpowering, so I do actually like it. I so love I'm not, it. Actually, I don't mind the coffee taste. I don't really drink mm. coffee, but... Coffee ice cream though? It tastes like that to me. Mmm. So good. Yeah, you can so try the other things if you want. I'm going to try this smoothie. A sip. Try them. Okay. Uh, really taste the peanut butter and the protein. Good because I love the taste of protein powder. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what to say is they don't use mm. any refined sugar at all. They only use coconut sugar. From what I'm aware they only use rice bran oil for dishes that contain oil. None of this like sunflower mm. oil, canola oil, these other unhealthy oils. Rice bran oil has a high cooking point as well. A lot of oils when you cook it at high temperatures it goes rancy, so that's really good. I'm gonna try the Buddha bowl. This one back here. No, sorry for the burning noise in the background. Mmm. Yeah. These are not into chocolate things and they're pretty much all <laughs> chocolate on well they all did. Pretty good guy. <laughs> and what I say also is that they use no refined salt, only Himalayan salt. Because refined salt, in the refining process, they use a type of aluminium in it. So it's highly, highly toxic and damaging to you. Do not want heavy metals within you. Um, and it's removed all the beneficial minerals as well that are really good for your health. Mmm. Wow. I like how simple this dish is and like the sauce that they added isn't salty at all. Like mm -hmm. it's like perfect for me. So I'm pretty sensitive to salty flavors. Yeah, and all their sauces they make themselves, no packaged mm. pre-made sauces, pretty much everything they make here themselves, which is mm. really, really good. So they go to great lengths to provide you with the most healthiest vegan plant-based food possible. I love it, so many other restaurants like I said, and there are restaurants that are really healthy, but I don't think there's any go to such a great length as a Ryan do here. Um, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is quite a thick smoothie, very peanut butter, strong taste. It could be colder, but well, sitting a little bit. It's not cold because yes, yeah, we had to wait quite a while yeah. for the stuff to come out. I'm going to quickly check what was in this because I want to remember. Banana, carob. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And carob is like a non, well it's an alternative to cacao because for some people cacao can be quite stimulating but this is not at all. I can't really taste the carob in that. I can. Oh really? Really strongly. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, the tempeh is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's probably the best I've had at any restaurant. Yeah, because they made it themselves, which is good. But it's also not overly salty either. Perfect amount of seasoning. Mm. Mm. I also love all the colors in here. Yeah, 
with the hemp protein in, it's definitely made it thicker, which I like thick smoothies. Definitely very calorie dense, very filling, very tasty. Yeah. Probably the best protein shake that I've ever had, at least um, at a restaurant, so to speak. I definitely make better ones at home because I like to make mine in a very specific, customized way. So give them the most broad spectrum of nutrients possible. But yeah, I'm still very happy with this one. And it's good that they provide you in this nice glass container as well. And I think it's a bamboo straw, no plastic straws. Plastic's so bad for the environment. Mm. Well, wow. it's not it is amazing. I love sprouting on these. My favorite. When was the first time you ever come to Orion? I came here four years ago. And when I came here, in general, there wasn't much development on the island. Like, this was the only vegan restaurant, and like maybe one other Louder. one. Huh? Loud though, you're really not speaking loud at all. Am I loud? No, you're so quiet. <laughs> Okay, try to amplify my voice. So I came here four years ago, and in general, like this area wasn't very developed, and so there was only this place, and I believe another place that um, was vegan friendly. And yeah, when I came here, they had a very small menu, and there was only like a few options. And so now coming back so many years later, it's amazing to see like the how the menus expanded and how beautiful the place has been um, developed since I've been here. Yes. Like they've added on like that building next door with the yoga spaces and um, the bathrooms and everything is just yeah upgraded. Yeah. Okay, like there's so much to choose from on the menu, so much varieties. Yes, yeah, so much. Like, they have shakes, smoothies, noises in the background, um, <laughs> Vitality boo Boosts, Lassies, Fresh Juices, Organic Superfood Additions, things like Superfood Mixes, Raw Cacao, Hemp Protein Powder, Honey and Bee Pollen, Spirulina Corelli. Yeah, obviously, the Honey and Bee Pollen is not vegan, but yeah, not everyone's necessarily going to yeah. be vegan that comes here, but you have to, almost everything's vegan here. Um, but at least all of it's vegetarian, at a minimum. They also do breakfast, which is served all day, smoothie bowl additions, salads, hummus, their Orion bowls, burgers, raw food because yeah some people might be into a raw food diet so it's good they've got a lot of different raw foods here such as raw coconut soup blt sandwiches raw tacos raw pad thai then they've got the sandwich menu menu side dishes desserts main courses thai food the detoxes menu for people who are here for the detoxification programs that they're on because they do things like juice cleanses here uh, they have infrared sauna, steam room, they do Reiki, theta healing, massage, uh, liver and gallbladder cleanses, like so many different things, uh, which is really good. Um, then you've got your breaking fast options and post cleanse options after the cleanses. So yeah, it's got a wide array of different food. It's suitable for all different types of people's needs. And the brilliant thing is, they will make modifications to things if you ask as well. And a lot of things, Pretty much, pretty much everything comes with gluten-free options or not. So, <clears throat> yeah, many, many different options. Mm. I actually need salt for them. Is this ketchup? 
Mm -hmm. I need some salt. Oh, salt right. added to them. I want salt added to them. <laughs> I think they're perfect. Yeah, they're they do taste like air fried. Yeah. I've made air fry fries before, and you do in the machine like you do have to add a tiny bit of oil but to prevent it from sticking but they're literally the same as other fries you would get they're not as like crispy yeah but they're still they taste really they good they might be like a healthier version of mcdonald's chips yeah <laughs> which is pretty cool um and yeah i've never yeah. i like that i've yeah. never been to any restaurant that does air fry fries yeah, in the world either. I've never seen that at a restaurant. Yeah, it's a new addition, but it's really good. And yeah, they made that ice cream themselves as well. Mm -hmm. They did? Yeah. No. Pretty much make everything here, which is really good. Yeah, and I said the price is here, because I've said about it many times before, I think it's good value for money, definitely worth it. Mm. And what's really nice as well, if you're sitting outside, you can actually see the sea yes. as well. So it's a really nice view, loads of palm trees around as well. <clears throat> yeah, they never didn't have any of that when I was here last. There's literally just like those that under hang right there, yeah. and that's it. Mm. This is quite filling. Yeah, nutrient dense. Say the fries are good, but they've been better when I've had them before. But they were sitting here for quite a while while the other stuff come along, so they've gone quite cold and stuff. So, yeah, it's not gonna be an issue if you order them. And this, I don't know how they did this, <laughs> it's artwork. Yeah, what's really good about this place, all the seating area, you can eat and work here if you want to. I've done that many times before. I think it's one of the best places to eat and work at for sure because it's so open. Mm -hmm. It's just really good air, it's a really calm environment. And then it's really good most of the time, sometimes it's slow, it depends how many people are on it, for obvious reasons. And they have plugs so you can charge things as well. Mm. What do you think about the staff? Super nice. Like, they seem like they like their job and they're enjoying themselves and, um, yeah. Really nice. Yeah, very polite, very helpful. Uh-huh. Yeah. They upkeep the space really nice, like it's always clean and beautiful. Yeah, they have good people skills. Some places I've been to go back and hang some of them are not people friendly. I actually come in most, well, every other day I'll come here specifically for the infrared sauna. Because they have infrared sauna and steam room. 
and I'm really into detoxification. I'm a health coach and detoxification specialist. I'm also a fitness coach as well, and those are different things. And to find an infrared sauna anywhere where you are is really, really hard. And it's one of the best ways to detoxify yourself. Your skin is one of the largest organs. And in comparison to a steam room or standard sauna, it removes so much more toxicity from the body and a lot less water. So yeah, come here, have healthy food. I'm also get some good detoxification under it. So, improvements. What could they improve here? We talked about this earlier. Improve. <clears throat> okay, well, I'll go first because she doesn't remember. <laughs> she doesn't have the best memory, unlike me. Um, there's nothing that I can say bad about this place at all. The cakes are pretty much all raw vegan desserts. Well, just the desserts in general as a whole, which is good. Really, really good. A lot of people desire that, but I would like to see a bit more of a balance. We like also just vegan desserts that are cooked ones rather than raw vegan ones because they are really good, the raw vegan desserts, but a lot of them are very dense and very, very heavy, and a lot of them are very high fat and cashew based. So I would like to see some gluten free, um, I don't know, like flour cake. Yes, yeah, but healthy ones made from yeah. like buckwheat flour or these other different types of flour that are free of refined sugar. Yeah. Um, things like it could make like carrot cake, peanut butter and jelly cake. Um, yeah, all so many different things. So yeah, I would like to see more of a balance with. Yeah, I don't see any any ones that are raw. No, none at all. Mm. And what are a couple of recommendations that we would like to see here as well that we aren't really seeing anywhere else? <laughs> She doesn't run again, so I will kill you. Right. Can you just remind me? A vegan pizza. Oh. I would like to see a gluten free one and one that also is not gluten free as well. I remember that. Now. There's two on the island that I'm aware of that makes them, but they're quite unhealthy, not that great from what I'm aware of. Yeah, but I would also like in the cheese. Cheese is actually stringy and tastes like cheese on a non-vegan pizza. Which you have one like that in Malaysia recently and it was mind-blowing. I'm telling you, that thing would sell like crazy. How many people doesn't, don't like pizza? And how many people miss cheese when they're vegan as well? So, yeah. I don't. Well, you don't, <laughs> but most people out there do. Most people say they find it hard to go vegan because they don't want to give up cheese or chocolate, one or the other. I always thought that, and then now, since my taste buds have changed, like I actually prefer the taste of like the plant-based cheeses. So, that's just my experience, but I know people really enjoy like that the milk. Taste. Oh, but I like plant-based cheeses, but when they taste like the, the real... I just don't like when they taste like the real thing. Like I like the, the plant-based taste of it, like the nuts and stuff. Yeah. I was, well, from what I've spoken to a lot of people, they want ones that taste like mm -hmm. the real... And that's how you get a lot of people go vegan, by making veganized dishes that taste like the non-vegan version. So you get the masses to go vegan for sure. Mm. Oh yeah, and I think they should have gluten-free donuts. Mm. Oh. Because I love donuts and... Who doesn't? <laughs> I don't know, there could be some people that don't like them that much. I've yet to find anywhere in Thailand that does it any ones that I'd be drawn to. Because um, most recently I've had a lot of vegan donuts and they have been amazing, so it'd be cool to see. Where did you place. have them though? 
I had some in Kauai, Hawaii, and Portland, Oregon. So they're pretty, Portland especially is known for just like being in everything. So it's pretty easy to find stuff like that there, but it would be more unique to find that somewhere like this where it's not that common. Mm. I've tried this burger once before, it's a special on the menu. I've tried all the burgers. This is by far the best burger on the menu. Keep this. Do not get rid of it, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. It doesn't taste like a meat burger, but it just tastes like a really like tasty, flavorful burger. I'm not sure what the burger's actually made of, but it's so good. And it's nice with that like chili ketchup, which is not too spicy. Mm. Can I try just that part? Mm-hmm. Mm, you gotta try it with everything though. Really? Yeah. Oh. You don't get the full experience otherwise. The full experience. My mouth is so small. Oh. She has a child's <laughs> mouth, so she can't really fit her mouth over it. It makes me laugh. I've never seen an adult with such a small mouth. I feel like my jaw is deformed or something. I don't think she's as impressed as me. <laughs> like it is good, but hmm. I really like it. It's just it. okay to me. Mm. It's very beany. Yeah, which I love. These Maybe high protein why. bean burger things. I still would love to see some sort of cheese on it though, so it's like a cheeseburger <laughs> type of thing. Quite a bit of onion in there, which I love onion. Before? I had some of them, yeah. Besides that, fries. Mm, the ice cream and this. Mm. And this is the only place on Copenhagen Island that does gluten free wraps. And trust me, I know I've been to a lot of restaurants <laughs> or research them up online that have eaten them. can get other burritos other places that they're really unclean and not gluten free. And if you don't want gluten free they can make it with a whole wheat one. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to add in It's that. just tempeh. Really? Mm hmm It's just some of them dried and mm. different. They're like absorbed the seasonings. Tempeh is such a high protein source. And so much better than tofu. Tofu is really highly processed and refined. Um, Soy is very high in anti-nutrients such as phytic acid which binds to the minerals within it. It makes it harder to digest the food and makes the minerals well, unabsorbable. So by fermenting it and creating things such as tempeh, you get a lot of the anti-nutrients reduced or eliminated. So it's easy to digest and then this actually contains 
naturally occurring things such as B12 and beneficial bacteria, which is really good for your whole digestive system. And it just tastes so much better to me. Oh, like yeah. the texture isn't mushy. Mm -hmm. You can try that if you want. You know. mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of afraid. Why are you afraid of it? Because <laughs> I've eaten raw lasagna before and it did not make me feel that great because it was very high fat, but this doesn't look as... It doesn't look like a really high fat one to Yeah. It's kind of hard to cut with that. Oh wow, look at that, what they've done to the cucumber. Mm. Aren't that pretty? I'm having difficulties. Is it just disintegrating? Mm. Yes. I need like a very sharp knife to cut this without it destroying its shape. I really like the, it's some sort of creamy cashew sauce on it. Mm -hmm. mm. And then the pesto is really nice too. It would be nice if they put a very sharp knife with it. Why? So it doesn't all disintegrate. Was it quite hard to cut with that one? Do you yes. Know? It's quite creamy. Look at that. Mm. Oh yeah, well, very rich. Mm. There's a lot of gluten-free wraps you can buy out there. They're really not good. It's definitely not as, mm, what does it say? Not as soft and chewy as a whole wheat one, but it's still quite soft actually. Mm, um, I like that. It's not bad at all. I actually really, really enjoy it. But if you want a whole wheat one, yeah, it's definitely not like one, but what do you expect to make from chickpea flour? But I really, really appreciate this wrap. I like it. Mm. And they make it themselves because most places have pre-made wraps that are full of preservatives and unrefined salt and who knows what else, loads of other toxic stuff that you ideally don't want in your body. Yes. You're looking someone that cares about health at least. And yeah, that's what it looks like inside. Is it mushrooms and Yeah, veggies? the mushrooms have been a little bit fried, I think. But what I say is... Even though they're fried, very minimal amount of oil. Rather than being drenched in oil, which I cannot stand. Bleh. Bleh. It made me feel good. Didn't make the, 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 the food taste any better. You just can't eat as much, and I like to eat a lot. But you just get fatted out by the oil. <laughs> You're switching it. Musical chairs. I need to stop getting about this tempeh. Oh. Mmm. That is my favorite. So I told you it's one of the best things on the dish, on the menu. On the beach. I said on the dish and then I changed to <laughs> menu. Oh my god. The seasonings. Not to order always sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's probably my favorite one. Uh, I said it, it's definitely a good one. Wow. How? How do they do that?
we just cut it small and then fold it in. How do you like it? Well, I'm going to just try it. I need to try it again. Again. Mm. The sauce is really tasty. Mm -hmm. Not too fatty. And what it says, I used to make a lot of raw gourmet food like this. I worked at a festival once, one of the best people in the UK that can make raw food as well. I bet a lot of the best raw vegan restaurants in England where I'm from as well. I know that. What kind of food do they make? Like raw lasagna and burgers mm. and... Raw falafel, raw lasagnas, raw pizza. Mm -hmm. Raw mango, um, custard cake, loads of things. So, I noticed everywhere so this is not a Ryan's fault. Tomatoes are pretty much really, really bad in Thailand. Yep. <clears throat> they have an issue. No matter where you pretty much buy them, except for on rare occasions, they're never fully ripe. So, yeah, because they're not fully ripe, it's not the best. It doesn't make the dish as good as it can be. Yeah. So, because when you have ripe tomatoes, it just like transforms. Yeah. It. I would personally skip the fresh tomatoes and try and get hold of some like good sun-dried tomatoes yes and make like a tomato paste out of it of raw tomato paste i think that would work better or the i've seen some that they blend up like they make like a marinara sauce instead of having like the full-on tomato mm. slices and so it's marinara sauce pesto and then the noodle yeah. mm -hmm. so i would do it like that yeah. And then it all sticks together more as well. Yeah. So, I wouldn't say it's the best raw design I've had. I wouldn't say that it's really, really bad, but yeah, the tomatoes really let it down. And also, I feel like the zucchini noodle could be thinner. Mm. So it's more like pasta texture. Yeah, I've had some raw design that just tastes like, oh yeah. my god. Wow. Mm. If you want any recommendations for a recipe, let me know. I can give you one. <laughs> you want more of this? What's up? What is it? Do you want more of this? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm feeling very full from that one dish that I had. Yeah? Yep. Oh man, I'm loving this sauce though. The sauce is like... Yeah, I like that too. And they've got like the filling here. Very nutty, very flavorful, very slight of pesto taste. So that's good. So yeah, I've rate that stuff really good. But yeah, the, like the tomatoes, look, I'll show you. Sorry, but yeah, I have to show you this. They're like, not even red. It's like orange color. It's, yeah. But I have seen, like I saw tomatoes like that earlier that were amazing. Like, they were so red. Yeah, sometimes you can find them, but trying to get them consistently like that, mm -hmm. especially on this item, is very, very difficult. Mm. Ooh, that is spicy. It's like it takes a minute to kick in. And yeah, I'm a huge dessert person. 
this is up on there. Life is short, eat dessert first. <laughs> I always do that. We won by, but yeah, I just do. I like the way it feels in my stomach a lot more. Mm -hmm. I never thought to do that. Mm -hmm. The reason why I like to use go sit to make your appetite you can eat more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm trying to eat as much as I possibly can to build as much muscle as possible. Did you notice those pictures down there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my favourite thing. Hmm. I really enjoyed that major day. More than I even thought that I would do. <laughs> so that's really good. Um, I only the smartest there, I'm not interested in them. Um, <laughs> certainly the other ones aren't too bad. Mm. Yeah, the uh, ice cream and the protein cake yep. for sure for me. Don't get rid of the protein cake, please keep it. <laughs> I wouldn't really say it's like a cake. I feel like it's more like a, a top. But it's a bit like ice cream on top, which is like, yeah. it's sort of like a ice cheesecake, but not. Because <laughs> the cheesecake seems similar to ice cream. Yeah. Any things like blueberry lemon cheesecake, raspberry chocolate cheesecake, I see them all now. Yeah, blueberry beautiful. vanilla cheesecake, chocolate banana cheesecake, passion fruit strawberry cheesecake. If you like raw food dishes and you like a more nice. healthier uh, cheesecake, go for them. They're really high quality. They even have raw vegan Snicker bars, which I was thinking about getting one, but I'm not going to They're very strong chocolatey taste. Uh, a bit too much chocolate for me, but for someone that likes really strong chocolate, definitely get them. If you've got your raw energy balls and a new thing called the avocado chocolate mousse which I got recommended by the person who's arranged this for me she said it's amazing but it would be silly for me to try it because I would say I don't enjoy it because I'm not really into that type of thing and yeah the chef Sandy really went to great lengths <laughs> for us and made the things look a lot more beautiful as well which is really nice so we appreciate yeah, that, I like that. Um, so yeah, that was good. And yeah, we're on to this last dish now. What? Look at that. What? There's like a glaze on the inside. Uh -huh. mm. Mm -hmm. I want to say, this is good. It's not salty enough for you? It's a little bit too oily for me. Mm. Well, it's like pan fried, I think. That's yeah. what it is. I would try and fry this with like water, which you can do that. I've done that with a lot of things before. Mm -hmm. Small amounts of water. Yeah, a lot of people are not so bothered about oil, unlike me, but yeah. That everything else is not oh, yeah. very oily yeah. at all, but a lot of it doesn't even have oil. Which most places go overboard with oil. <sighs> yeah, and as you probably notice, I'm not eating the side salad. Um, me personally, I'm not into like raw vegetables. Yeah. They're not really tasty. Um, that's just my own personal preference. I prefer cooked, like steamed vegetables instead. But that's just my own personal preference. It might not be yours. Mm. When you ate raw, did you eat salads? Just fruit? Manusia of all diet. Mm. Green leafy vegetables and fruit. Mm. <sighs> 
satisfied. And yeah, we were in Bangkok recently. We went to loads of vegan restaurants. Really tasty, but <laughs> far from healthy, yeah. for sure. So it's good to have some healthy, clean beer. That also tastes really good. Yeah, because a lot of like healthy, clean food at places can taste too bland. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how to make it healthy, but really tasty at the same time. Yeah. I feel like it's all about the quality of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have super high quality ingredients, then it will taste good. Yeah, and if people know how to cook as well. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you can create them as simple dishes and it'll be amazing. Mm. I'm getting fit. I'm not. Uh, they're biting my ankles. Mosquitoes. Yes, yeah, seeing Kofeng Yang around 5 p.m. till about 6 p.m. or so. It's when the sun goes down. Mosquitoes like to come out. It's an issue everywhere you go. So, to eat, so to speak. I don't know why I'm using a spoon, that's not the right cutlery right there to be using. Um, take out the tomato. But yeah, we do a lot of other reviews in other places. You can check out on my channel, you can look around for other reviews. And we love food, like most people. And we've both over the years made really, really good vegan food. And at a lot of amazing places, we know what is good food and not. And the portion size is pretty good here. Yeah, I actually pattern. was surprised by that. I thought they would be a lot smaller. Yeah, some places we've been to. <laughs> the sizes are just ridiculous. Sad. You know, I'm not paying a lot of money for food. As long as it's good and you get a reasonable quantity. If not, I'm not happy by me. Now I've been Bangkok. Yeah. Where we went to this pizza place, vegan pizza place where they vegan options. And well, Vanessa got some dishes and they were so so small. It cost quite a bit of money for what it was. Look at the blood. Yeah, I don't think people want to see that really. <laughs> Yeah, it's good we're finishing up because the mosquitoes are coming. They're feasting on me. Yeah, so when I was having an intimate connection with some point that was here, she did their cleanses here. She was staying here. She did this like liquid fasting, the liver and cleanse. Um, she got trained in Reiki as well. And she's done those other things here and she really really highly praised them and said it was really good service really good all around so yeah if you're looking for some cleansing some emotional healing some energy work as well it's all here in a beautiful environment mm, it's so nice And they have this shop in here as well that we're inside of now. Yeah, it looks like they have some they more have some natural them. products. Yeah, like bathroom products, incense, them. some clothes, <laughs> some organite as well, it's called cool. organite. <laughs> yeah, toothpaste, like organic coconut sugar, cacao powder, herbal teas. They got it going on. <laughs> We got a little gym here, but I haven't checked that out. I'm not sure what that's like.
tweet on one more of these. <laughs> Me? No, nope. I've heard friend that is with us. Hello, Mr. Yeah. Invisible Friend. How are you doing today? I'm going to rip you a new hole. Yeah. Um, I'm just playing. Smoothie. You want smoothie? Yeah. You better go and order one then. I'm not sure if that's a good combo. What do you think? If I want it, I'll have it. You what? If I want it, I have to have it, but I'm not making a decision for you. <laughs> yeah, she's one meal a day like me, Janessa, but I don't think no one as much as me. And a couple days ago I got pretty sick so I haven't really been able to eat as much as I normally do. This is like the first day that I've been feeling like I have an actual appetite. And yeah, this is a mukbang review. Don't know what mukbangs are. Do some research up online. It's where you watch people eat for the whole duration they're eating. You just talk about whatever you want to talk about, like we are. Um, you don't have to talk if you don't want to. There are some they don't talk. I, I said you don't have to talk if you don't want to. Oh. ASMR ones where they don't talk at all. They just listen to the noises of them eating. Oh. Some people into that. We aren't necessarily. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> yeah, these very, these mushrooms are very like meaty, like. I was gonna say that. But not too meat to the point where I think it's actual meat, because that's just too much for me. I don't try to make have dishes that actually taste like meat. But it's vegan for. Yes. Got a bit of a kick to it, the spiciness. Not too much so. With most places, when you get spicy dishes in Thailand, yeah. they don't know the difference between a little bit and a lot. So you can't usually like you can't say a little bit because it's yeah. Too you say nit noi a little bit, and they still give you too much loads. Yeah. It's like wow. <laughs> when you do that, your mouth's on fire, and you can't taste anything else. <laughs> it's like not like you can take out the spiciness. It's just it's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, as you can see, we highly recommend this place. What's your uh, rating out of 10? 10 being the best. 8 out of 10? Yeah. Hard to give something a perfect 10 out of 10. You? I'd say 8 too. Mm -hmm. Pretty damn good guy. Yep. And yeah, there will be links down below for their website for their Facebook as well, their Instagram, and any other social media platforms that they use. And tell them Danny Senya. <laughs> Mm. 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 If 
you like to see videos from her in the future, and also Instagram posts, I'll put a link down below for her YouTube and her Instagram, also her Facebook as well, in case you want to check out that other social media platform. She'll be making videos similar to this, things on one meal a day, calisthenics, great life of your dreams, like a different thing. Because we have yes. all of them, this very similar, you know, Sometimes I order the customs apron, mushroom, I order mm. and they say, you know, sorry. Yeah, definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos from me. I do videos on similar topics, one meal day informational videos, mukbang videos, vegan videos, calisthenics videos, weight loss videos, calisthenics progression videos. So I don't know what calisthenics is, it's using your own body weight for training, a very natural way of training. Also, there are videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to become a better version of yourself and create a life of your dreams. And those other videos to just help you become the best version of yourself and create more of what you want within yourself and your life. And yeah, YouTube is my full time career. I live in Thailand as a digital nomad. Very grateful to have that as a job. It doesn't even feel like a job because this is what I'm passionate about. And yeah, I worked really hard to make it become a reality and never gave up. And yeah, there was many times that I failed, but I picked myself up and tried again and again and again. And in the end, I did succeed. So yeah, imagine it. Well, remember, if you want to achieve in life, just keep trying, and be consistent, be disciplined, and you will get the results again. As long as you learn from your mistakes and just keep pushing forward, keep moving forward. Ignore that it's so annoying from anyone else that tells you you can't do what you're trying to do because it's guys and you can achieve anything. So yeah, we're going to end it there. Um, yeah, if you have any questions for either of us, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, to see a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. Make sure that if you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded, you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, enjoy the rest of your day, make the most of your day, and go and seize it. Peace.